The role of Parliament in, uh, obviously, in undertaking any reform of anti-corruption is critical. Political will is key for reforms and for subsequent implementation. So it's very important to convince the new Parliament. Many of the parliamentarians have not received this previews and any training on anti-corruption. They are parliamentarians for the first time. And South Sudan obviously have a peace agreement to implement and the revitalized agreement specifies certain actions to be taken to counter corruption, to enhance good governance and the rule of law. different groups and not the party uh, group and we have to work together to ensure that we fight the corruption that is getting out there. This is a very very important uh, workshop uh, which looks at the uh, the role of uh, the parliament the transitional national legislative assembly uh, together with the anti-corruption and the intention of this workshop is to uh, give the uh, members of parliament an opportunity uh, to look at one of their functions. Uh, of course, the function of the parliament is to look at the, first, they are representatives of the people. Uh, they are also legislators and also they play the role of the oversight. Can we starting point. We uh, identified a lot of challenges, but we also saw in different ways through various interventions of people here, the drive and the determination to join in this fight against corruption. But has yet to ratify it. It has and then the UN Convention Against Corruption.